This video will show you how to access all of the information about your staff development obligation on the Internet. First, open a web browser. Either Internet Explorer or Firefox will work. And then type in the following address, access.peralta.edu. Sign in, just like you do when you're getting your email in Peralta. Click Continue. Now, you're going to see a list of links here. Click on Intranet. Sign in again. And you are now on the Intranet and you can access staff development from here. So click on the staff development link. What you see when you first log in is this screen which instructs you to click on the My Development link. So let's click on this link. Here's an example of a faculty member who has an obligation of 7.67 hours. So when you sign in here to your and you're on the My Development page, you're going to see your obligation hours and also the hours that you've actually completed and a balance if you have one. So let's take a look at the details of this. For example, this faculty person teaches on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and when you add all the hours that she teaches up, it comes to 7.4. So that gives you the obligation. Now let's go back. Now, in this case, the faculty member, as you can see, has completed more hours. So let's take a look at the details of that. And in this case, you see a list of all the workshops attended and also other activities that the faculty has, person have, has completed, which adds up to a total of 23 hours. So in this particular case, this faculty person wouldn't have to worry about adding more hours but she still could do so if she wished. All right, so let's say this is you're looking at your obligation and you see that uh, you need to add more hours or you have more hours that you want to make sure that you get credit for. So first thing you do is click here on the Staff Development Worksheets link. Click on Open Worksheet. These directions explain to you how to fill out the worksheets that follow. Take a look at those. Okay, so this uh, worksheet has eight sections and I'm just going to quickly click through them. Are you on a tenure committee? You would enter the candidate's name here. And uh, all the rest of these are different projects. Uh, section 3 is shared governance. If you are participating in any shared governance committees, make sure you're getting credit for that. You can only get up to five hours credit for per committee. If you don't see your committee listed here, just type the name in this box. These are all part of the nine statutory activities for staff development. So if you have any information in any of these areas, enter it in the box. Make sure to put the hours that you'd like to request for that activity. These hours do have to be approved, by the way, once you enter them. Last but not least, please enter your full name and click on the Finish button to submit. Once you've submitted your worksheets for the semester, they'll go through a basic approval process. If you have any problems, you're not sure your obligation is correct or you have questions about the form, all you have to do is click on this link right here and it'll generate an email to me or to whoever's staff development officer and uh, hopefully your questions can easily be answered. Alright, so thank you and please start using the form now.